Good morning. Oh, there. Nice frosty morning here in southern Ontario. Thought I'd give you a little update. Yesterday, uh, the night before, we had a full moon. And uh, for those of you that don't believe that moon cycles have anything to do with anything, you've obviously never been to a farm during lambing season because you would see a huge influx in lambing or calving or anything for that matter around the time of a full moon. So yesterday morning when I got here, we had three ewes lambed and uh, well, we had two ewes lambed and this one here was lambing. And then by afternoon, we had another three ewes lambed. So spent the day making up more lambing pens. I only had four lambing pens. Now I have seven. And then uh, we had a hay feeder in here. I took that out and extended these. That was my group pen right there. But uh, extended the group pen out. Now got the yard divided in half. So everything that hasn't lambed is over here. Everything that has lambed is there. And uh, got all the mothers out of the lambing pens. So, so far we've been doing pretty good. Uh, there was one ewe lamb a few days ago I'd mentioned in a video. She was last year's ewe lamb and I didn't know if she was going to own both her lambs. But that's her right out there licking her lambs she took both of them really great and then we had a ewe get cast in here the other morning and when she kind of when we got her to her feet she didn't want anything to do with her lambs but it turns out she just needed a really good rest because a few hours later i came in and stood her up and stood her lambs up and she just took to them like she had just given birth to them and She's normally a pretty good mother, so that didn't surprise me. I was quite happy with that. And then yesterday we had uh, the fiasco where that ewe had lambed. And this ewe over here had uh, thought that it was her lamb. So she was quite upset that I was separating her from it. So I locked the doors on the end here for, oh better part of the morning and she finally lied down and had her lambs and then uh, she took right to them so so far knock on wood we uh, haven't had to bottle feed anything or tube feed anything I better actually come and knock on wood and uh, no it's been a pretty good year that way so the few little mishaps we've had between with mothers that we didn't think we're going to take lambs they all have so we've had a pretty good year i think we're up to 19 ewes lambed out feeding uh i think 33 or 35 lambs i, I lost track yesterday so we are uh, we're doing pretty good i figure now we'll probably slow down we got that big slug of lambs out of the way there's two or three more ewes out here that are uh, bagged up that will lamb within the next week or two. And then these Shetlands, um, I think pretty much all of them are bagging up. I think even the old girl over there that I wasn't suspecting to lamb is starting to bag up. So um, we'll talk a bit more about them later, but I expect I'll uh, probably either have another wave of lambs in another week or two or I'm just going to have one or two born here and there over the next two weeks and then of course there's some of these ewes that just didn't get bred so I figure we probably have at least another 10 to go that's normally the way it goes with lambing you uh, start out with a few and then all of a sudden you've got one real big push over a couple of days and then it slows down again. So that's kind of the beauty of lambing in April. We used to start lambing in February and we'd lamb from February right through till the time they went out to pasture in June or mid-May, I should say. And uh, now we start lambing in April and we might have a few lamb before they go out to pasture in mid-May, but we will typically be done lambing 
or at least 95% of our lambing in about three weeks, which is good. I mean, we only have 36 ewes. Um, so it's not like it's that big of a deal, but it's nice to just get it out of the way. And uh, we're not, we don't live on the farm, so I'm not here at night to check on them. They have to just do their thing. So I'm not, I'm not available really to start bottle feeding lambs and tubing them and everything else. If we do have to bottle feed them, we get them going and sell them to a neighbor and uh, go from there. So we need, you know, we don't have many sheep, but they have to work for us. And this year, these sheep are doing just that. Their lambs hit the ground, they get up and they look after them. I just pen them up to make sure everything's going good and then they go on from there and they just look after themselves. Anyway, that's uh, our lambing update. Um, middle of next month we'll start calving and uh, according to my breeding dates that's going to be a short season too. So um, plenty of stuff to get done now on the farm now that the weather's good and uh, yeah, we'll keep you posted. Take care, everyone.